and welcome to Unilag TV News. I am Vina Peters. A lecturer at the Kwara State University, Malete, Belumi Adewale, has been arraigned before a magistrate court sitting in Ilorin, Kwara State, for allegedly sexually harassing a student. He was arrested by the State Intelligence Bureau over offenses bordering on criminal intimidation, sexual harassment, and examination malpractices, among others. The student, according to the police, alleged that sometime in September 2021, Adewale called and threatened to fail her in the forthcoming exams if she refused to have sexual intercourse with him. Hmm. I honestly thought we've gone past this. Lastly on education, Kaduna State University Market was raised by fire yesterday as valuables in the institution's mini market estimated at millions were destroyed by fire. Sources said the fire started from a particular shop when electricity was restored before 7 p.m. Students made frantic efforts to put out the fire while they awaited the arrival of fire service, while the explosion from one of the shops escalated the fire and it extended to more shops while the students watched helplessly. This is really sad. And venturing into the world of entertainment, Lucy has cried out over an alleged loss she experienced following her trust in humanity. Although she has failed to name the person behind her ordeal, and in a post shared via her Instagram stories, narrates how she incurred the loss despite being warned. The celebrity chef did not disclose in detail if she was swindled off her money or involved in a business gone wrong. <laughs> this one a real shiny eye. Meanwhile, Boy played a 17,000 arena in Stockholm, Sweden. During his set, he teased a new song titled Off Your Mic. The song is set to be released on his upcoming album provisionally titled Outsider. Furthermore, Yvonne Jagade has unveiled an impressive new feat at the just-concluded Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. She confirmed that the awards are for a yet-to-be-released film Marin A. Campbell. The actress recently took to her Instagram page to announce that she had swept 9 out of 10 awards at the Canadian Festival. The movie will also debut in 2022. Moving on, Katharina has shared her two cents on the latest trend in the Nigerian film industry. According to her, the lack of new Nollywood movies on global streaming platform Netflix is as a result of filmmakers and actors turning to brand influencers. Despite Katrina's controversial claims, Netflix has unveiled a good number of new additions this year including Kunle Afolayon Swallow released back in October. And the holidays are set to be packed with movies from top studios like Afolayon's KAP, Moabudu's Ebony Live Studios, Play Network work and film one entertainment if this is the case then i really do not know still on entertainment dj case and his wife zerona have welcomed their second child together as the daughter of the former cross river state governor donald duke took to her instagram page to announce the arrival of their baby where she wrote for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and she captioned the post, Welcome to our family, Oluwa Sheikwe Avia Phillips. You are blessed, baby girl. From all of us at Unilag TV, we say congratulations. And finally, American singer Faith Evans and her husband Stevie J have ended their marriage. It is reported that the record producer went to Los Angeles County Superior Court on Monday, November 8, 2021, where he filed the divorce document. Although, there have been reports Reports of crisis rocking their marriage for a while now. So sad. And that ends in Lack TV news. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to get updates on all our videos. Now, don't forget to also follow us across all social media platforms at Unilag on TV. Many thanks for watching. My name is Vina Peters. Good evening.